brand new way to get the IAA badge in GTA 5 Online after the new recent GTA 5 Criminal Enterprise update. So in today's video, I will be showing you the easiest method to put the IAA badge on any of your outfits. So yeah, this is a legit method, not a glitch. So you can put this on any of your outfits, basically bringing it from a mission onto a regular session. So totally legit, you're not going to get banned for this. And yeah, before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe. If the glitch did work for you, you know, it's the red button, just click it. And if it didn't work, you can literally just unsubscribe and, you know, comment, trash video, whatever. Like, I don't know, do whatever. Just, no, I'm just playing. Just let me know what didn't work, if it did not work for you. But, um, yeah, so you're not going to need too many things for this, like, method. It's pretty easy. Like, literally, all you have to do is literally just do this mission. You don't have to do the mission, so, like, pretty easy. You just make your way there, so yeah. So make sure you drop a comment down below if they, this did work for you. And bro, can I record my? I'm literally getting called by English Dave. Let, let's just get into the video. So the first thing which you're gonna have to do, you need to make your way to this location right here. You're gonna see the ULP mission. So it's gonna be on the map. You're gonna get a phone call from Agent ULP, and then you go right here, and then you start up the mission. So you do not need to bookmark anything. This is a mission that got added with the new DLC. Now you can start it on your own, you confirm the settings, it doesn't really matter what difficulty you put it on. All you have to do, you can invite some friends too if they want to do it with you, but you can literally do this completely solo without like needing anyone to do it. And no, you're not going to be losing any of your outfits because this is a legit method that is like not even a glitch, literally, that got added to the game. So now as you can see, you load it up, you have the IA badge. Now how do, now keep watching to actually bring it into a like regular session. If you stop right now, well, you're going to have it for this mission. Well, that's it after that. So you got to really, like, bring it into online. So it's really easy. It literally takes, like, 10, 10 minutes, literally, to do. So you're going to have to go through this cutscene. Yeah, to unskip a cutscene. I don't know why is he talking or what. Like, just, you know, just ignore this part of what he's saying. Just kind of, I don't know. Just wait for it to go through for this, like, um, cutscene really quick. And I'm going to show you how to do this, so... Yeah, I don't know why is he telling us all this. Probably because of the mission. I haven't completed this mission myself yet, so I don't know really what's it about. So I might like have to complete it and all. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. So as you can see, you load in, and now you're gonna have to open your interaction menu. You're gonna have to go to styles, and you could go to illuminated clothing. So open your interaction menu styles. You're gonna see illuminated clothing. And now just keep scrolling to the right. So you're gonna have to keep on changing this from pulse, flash, and off. So you just keep holding right on the D-pad for about like 10 to 15 seconds, uh, just like that to actually save the game. So you keep on like holding right on the D-pad, just like that for like 10 to 15 seconds, and then you should be good to go. So now once it's been like 10 to 15, maybe 20 seconds, like you put a timer on your phone. What you're gonna have to do, you need to leave your controller completely AFK. So like you're gonna go away from your controller do not touch your controller. like literally leave it until it kicks you out of the game so you basically need to get kicked that usually takes like 10 to 15 minutes boom as you can see it kicked me out that was like 10 minutes later you got like i got kicked out of the mission for being idle too long and it's returning me to online and yeah there we go now you have to continue click continue on that and you're gonna see this like you're gonna be in the clouds it's gonna say joining gta online it might be like a bit of a long loading screen but just wait don't worry, the glitch did work. Um, all you have to do is just wait through this like loading. I mean, not even a glitch, literally method, so pretty easy. Really fast, takes like no time at all. And you don't even have to do much. You literally just load up that mission and yeah, so there's one more thing you need to do, so keep watching to actually like you know get this properly. So if you stop right now, you're gonna change outfits and you're gonna lose it. So yeah, so right now you load up wherever your spawn location is, it really doesn't matter. Now you will see that you have the outfit that we got from the um, like from the mission with the IA badge. Now what you're gonna have to do, you need to make your way to your edit saved outfits. So make sure you don't change your outfit right now, because if you do, you're just gonna lose it, and you're gonna have to redo this whole method again. So now you're just gonna have to go to edit saved outfits and literally save it in any slot that you want. And boom, it is that easy to put the IA badge. I will be making a video really soon on how to put this on any outfit. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Literally gonna be a so like super easy method. I already found it. But uh yeah, as you can see you have the IA badge. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and comment down below if the glitch did work for you. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will be responding to every single comment. Uh if you have like any questions, something didn't work, just let me know. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.